New for 2006 is a brand new patterning feature. This is called the fill pattern. Basically what we do is we fill a boundary with a feature. In this case here we've chosen a circular cut at the center. We have control over the angle of this perforation. We also have control over the distance between each of the items that we've chosen. And we can also control the, the margin or the distance from the outer boundary. In this case here we'll set our margin to be fairly small. Choose a sketch entity and you can see it subtracts the sketch entity from the, um, the outer boundary. In this case here we've unselected the face and now we've filled the entire interface. By changing the pattern, lay pattern layout to a circular orientation you can see that SOLIDWORKS fills our new boundary with a circular orientation each of those items are spaced at a target spacing from each other and we also have control over the distance between the radial rings. We'll go ahead and accept this. Another way to use the fill pattern is with a predefined shape. In this case here we'll choose from choose our boundaries and we'll also choose some shapes to pattern. Here we don't have to create our initial hole or square or diamond or polygon we can choose a predefined shape here. Here we'll choose a square and set its size and have that fill the entire outer boundary there. So you can see now we can save ourselves one step of having to create that feature first before we actually pattern it.